Good day everyone. My name is Pastor Ekitukutinidu and I'm your host in, at Everyday Prayer Guide Television. Today we shall be looking at powerful morning prayer for healing and strength. Powerful morning prayer for healing and strength. In this prayer, we're going to be praying against every form of sicknesses and disease in your life. And we're going to be returning it back to the devil, back to the pit of hell, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. A lot of Christians today are struggling with sicknesses and disease. And we serve a God who is called Jehovah Rapha, the God that healeth. In Exodus chapter 25, 23 from verse 25, he said that ye shall serve the Lord thy God and he shall bless your bread and water. And the next thing he will do is to take away sicknesses from you. In Isaiah, the Bible said that he took upon himself our sicknesses by his stripes we are healed. And in, in Acts chapter 10, from verse 38, the Bible said how Jesus was anointed by the Holy Spirit and by power and with power and he went about doing good such as what healing all those that were oppressed of the devil praise the lord the sicknesses and disease is an oppression of the devil praise the lord there is no natural sickness every sickness is rooted in the devil somebody will say but pastor are you saying that even sometimes just ordinary stress maybe i overstress myself and i start feeling body pains and i start feeling headache does it mean that it's also rooted in the devil yes it is why because man was not created to be sick man was created perfect humans god created them to be like god when adam was created when eve was created they were superhuman they were like god there was no such thing as being tired there was no such thing as being sick there was no such thing as stress because man was like god super natural but when the devil deceived man and man fell man became natural and you get what I'm saying? Man became what? Natural. Man became subject to tiredness. Man, man became subject to stress. Man became subject to sweating. Man became subject to sickness. Man became subject to death. Praise the Lord. So it is sin, courtesy of the devil, that brought man to the level where man can be sick. It is sin that brought man to the level where man can be sick. Normally, we don't supposed to fall sick. Normally, we're not supposed to, as in the way it was from the beginning, we're not even supposed to get tired. Angels don't get tired. Angels don't get tired. The Bible said they worship God every day in heaven. They don't get tired. There's no sort of thing as sweating. There's no sort of thing as stress. They are superhuman beings. Praise the Lord. We were meant to be that way. But when man fell, sicknesses came. Sicknesses and diseases is a consequence. It's also part of the consequences of the fall of man is also part of the consequences of the handiwork of the devil in your life but thank god for jesus jesus came for the redemption of man if you are saved today then you are entitled to live a healthy life if you are saved today you are entitled to live in in good health if you are saved today if you are born again today you are entitled to live a life full of strength and vigor therefore Every sickness in your body shall leave you today in the mighty name of Jesus. Every sickness in your health, in your, in, your, in your blood, in your bones, it shall leave you today. Every sickness in your cells, they shall leave you today in the mighty name of Jesus. Every pain in the body, that back pain, that waist pain, that ulcer is going today in the mighty name of Jesus. That migraine headache is going today. That genetic sickness that is in your family, transferred to you from your parents to you, is leaving you today in the mighty name of Jesus. You have a relative that is struggling with COVID. That relative shall be healed today in the mighty name of Jesus. Cancer is going to be healed today in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever terminal disease that you are struggling with, God is going to send you healing today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me. That sickness in your body shall not kill you. That sickness in your body, God shall heal you now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All you need to do is to connect in faith. Is to connect in what? In faith. You know, a lot of people think that the healing power of God does not work. Listen to me. If you believe, you shall receive. 
Praise the Lord. If you believe, you shall receive. Somebody say, but pastor, what about my medication? Are you saying that I should not bother about my medication? I should believe in faith? Listen to me. If you are medication, I don't, I don't encourage you to stop taking their medication because the medical science is also the wisdom of God. The Bible said, look, in the Bible was a physician. So if your medication, complete your medication, but do not trust in medication. Praise the Lord. Trust in the healing power of God. Trust in the healing power of God. Are you getting my point? Do not trust in medication. Trust in the healing power of God. Asa died. Not because he went to seek the physicians. No, you know, Asa had a food disease. King Asa in the Bible, he had a food disease and he died. Now, why did he, he, he die? The Bible says he died because he, he went to seek the physicians and he didn't seek God. Now, does it mean that He's going to seek the physician was the wrong thing. No, he, his trust in God shifted from God to the doctors. It, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people today they believe that they trust in the doctors. They, they see the doctors as their savior, and they and they fail because I have been as a pastor. I have been close to many many doctors, and I know that many of the times they are just clueless that like what i mean clueless it's not like they don't know what to do when they have done what they know to do they hand over everything to god or to nature praise the lord they hand over everything to god or to nature take for instance this uh, uh in vitro uh, fertilization ivf that they do for women who are believing god for children most of the times because some years ago some time ago there's a woman that when she wanted to go for ivf the, the, one of the doctors told her, let us pray before we start to remove the eggs from the, fo from the follicles from your body to extract the eggs. The woman said, pray. There is nothing like prayer here. This is science. Where was God when I was looking for children? Let us that God is not involved in this. I laughed, praise the Lord, and I was educating the woman. I said, come, how do you say God is not involved? Now, the doctors that are doing this IVF, they can't even guarantee if it will work. They can't even guarantee all the best they can do is to give you certain injections to make your body produce more air and more follicles but they cannot guarantee that each of the follicles will have eggs in them they can't control it they don't know you can you can they can't even guarantee how many follicles you will produce they will tell you it depends on your body it depends on your age it depends on this it depends on that there are too many maybes and i don't knows in it and even when they bring out the follicles from the body they, and they see some eggs, they cannot guarantee that any of all those eggs will be good. And even when the eggs come out, they cannot do anything to make it better. They can only hope that they are good. Praise the Lord. Too many maybes and hopefuls. Praise the Lord. So you find out that for it to even succeed, the hand of God must be in it. There are, there are, there are, there are sections where you need to pray, oh God. Let my follicles produce healthy eggs because the doctors cannot do anything about that. They have no power over it. They cannot, their, their science has no power over it. The best they can tell you is uh, 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 if you are younger in age, fine. If you are not, fine. And even when they finally put the embryos into your body, that is where their work stops. The implantation and everything, it has, they have no. They don't know, they have no control over it. In fact, once they put it inside you, any question you ask them, they will tell you they don't know. They only hope. They only hope. They only hope. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So, the God factor is still involved. Are you getting my point? The God factor is still involved. How does embryos move to implant in you that have never been pregnant before? It involves something that is beyond the medical capability. Or capacity so trying to push God aside because of your medicine is not wise there are things that are bigger than you bigger than your knowledge bigger than your science so you must know that even if your medication you can take your medication keep taking it according to the instruction of your doctors don't stop taking it but trust in God know that the medicine can only treat but God is the healer God is the healer even as you're taking your medication keep praying for healing keep praying oh god because there are some people who took the same medication you took and they died this medication that you took and you are well today it's not because the medication is the is your savior no there are some people in your situation who took the same medication ask the doctors 
did, if does everybody who take this treatment do all of them survive? They will tell you there are people who even took it better than you and they died. Praise the Lord. The same treatment they gave you for your own emergency. There are some people that were, were given the same treatment even earlier than you and they died. So you must trust in God. In as much as you are taking your medication, you must trust in God and you must engage in prayers for healing. I see God sending you healing now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Are you set to pray these prayers this morning? Quickly, before we go into the prayers, I want to encourage you. If you have not subscribed to this channel before, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button, and you'll be glad you did. This is a prayer channel. Every day we pray. Every day we lift up our voice to the Lord to pray with the strength of the Holy Spirit. It's not by our power. We do our best by the help of the Holy Ghost to pray daily. So if you want to be on fire 24-7, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button, and you'll be glad you did. As you subscribe to this channel today, I see the hand of God move in your direction. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord bless you for subscribing in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Now let's get to the prayers. Prayer 1. Father, I thank you for you are the God that he let me. Lift up my voice and begin to appreciate the Lord. Father, I thank you for you are the God that he let me in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for you are the God that he let me. Appreciate the Lord. He is the God that he let you. He is Jehovah Rapha. The God that He let you. Father, I appreciate you. You are the God that He let me. Father, I thank you. Be thou exalted, be thou magnified. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. Amen. Next prayer. Lord, I thank you for your mercy that has prevented this sickness from taking my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I thank you for your mercy that has prevented this sickness to take my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, begin to thank him for his mercy. It is his mercy that has prevented this sickness from taking your life prematurely. Father, I thank you for your mercy, O Lord, that has prevented this sickness from taking my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord and my God, I thank you for your mercy that has prevented this sickness from taking my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. I receive strength in every area of my body that there is weakness in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to pray that prayer. I receive strength in every area of my body that there is weakness in the mighty name of Jesus. From the crown of my head to the sole of my feet, I receive strength in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive supernatural strength in every area of my body where there is weakness in the mighty name of jesus i receive strength supernatural strength in every area of my body wherein there is weakness in the mighty name of jesus i receive strength i receive supernatural strength in every area of my body wherein there is weakness in the mighty name of jesus i receive strength in every area of my body wherein there is weakness in the mighty name of jesus i receive strength i receive strength in every area of my body where there is weakness in the mighty name of jesus i receive strength i receive strength in every area of my body where there is weakness in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus christ amen next prayer Blood of Jesus, flush away every sickness from my body. In the mighty name of your prayer, prayer, blood of Jesus, flush away every sickness in my body. Flush away every sickness in my blood. Flush away every sickness in my bones. Flush away every sickness in my, in my veins. In the mighty name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, flush away. Flush away every sickness in my body. Flush away every sickness in my bones. Flush away, flush away, flush away, blood of Jesus. Flush away, flush away every sickness in my body. Flush away every sickness in my bones. Flush away every sickness in every part of my body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Sweet Holy Spirit, strengthen my immune system. 
not to be subject to sickness anymore in the mighty name of your sweet holy spirit strengthen my immune system not to be subject to sicknesses and disease anymore in the mighty name of your sweet holy spirit strengthen my immune system not to be subject to sicknesses and disease no more in the mighty name of jesus sweet holy spirit strengthen my immune system because you are my strength now strengthen my immune system not to be subject to sicknesses and disease anymore in the mighty name of jesus sweet holy spirit strengthen my immune system not to be subject to sicknesses and disease anymore in the mighty name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus christ amen next prayer oh god replace by your mighty hand every organ in my body that needs replacement in the mighty name of jesus any organ any kidney any organ whatever organ it is that needs replacement be it my heart be it my kidney be it my liver be it my lungs whatever it is my fallopian tubes that need replacement oh lord that is not working lord replace it lord lord replace it lord you are my manufacturer you have spare parts you have spare body parts in heaven replace every organ in my body that is not functioning well replace every organ in my body that is not doing well lord let there be a spiritual transplant let there be a spiritual operation in my body lord replace replace my kundalaba shandala brande no no kosia every organ in my body that is not functioning well replace it oh lord my father and my god replace it lord carry out a spiritual surgery in my life tonight carry out a spiritual surgery in my life tonight oh god carry out a spiritual surgery in my life tonight replace everything that is not working in my life in the mighty name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus christ amen next prayer i return to the sender Every arrow of sickness shot in my direction. In, my, in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of sickness and disease. I return it to the sender. Every arrow of death through sickness. I return it to the sender. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every arrow of sickness and disease. Every arrow of death through sickness. I return it back to the sender. In the mighty name of Jesus. I return it back. I return it back. I return it back. I return it back. I return it back to the sender now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lift up your voice and begin to appreciate the Lord for your healing. Declare your healing now. I am healed. I am made whole. In the mighty name of Jesus. I am sound. I am delivered. Father, I thank you. Blessed be your holy name. Be thou exalted. Be thou magnified. In Jesus' great name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. You are healed. You are set free. In the mighty name of Jesus. That sickness and disease is out of your body. Receive strength right now. In Jesus' great name. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. I believe you have been blessed by these prayers. I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. If you are yet to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification button. And you'll be glad you did. Praise the Lord. And also, I encourage you to like this video. Give us a thumbs up. Let us know how you have been blessed by this video. If you have a prayer request, drop it at the comment section. If you have a prayer topic, drop it at the comment section. We're going to respond to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Also, share this video in all social media platforms. You are privileged to participate in. As you do so, God will keep blessing you in the mighty name of Jesus. My name is the main pastor, Eke Tumichinidu, your host at Everyday Prayer Guide Television. Remain blessed. Stay safe. In Jesus' great name. Amen. God bless you.